One of the oddest criticisms floating around about Vice President Kamala Harris is that she is not Black, or as one internet poster wrote, is only Black when it's convenient. Here are the facts. Harris is literally being called a DEI hire right now at probably one of the most inconvenient times when she's running for president. You take mediocrity, and that's what they have right now as a vice president. So you, are you suggesting she's D, she was a DEI hire? 100%. She was a DEI hire. Intellectually, just really kind of the bottom of the barrel. Uh, I think she was a DEI hire. These racist and sexist attacks seek to undermine her accomplishments as a former district attorney, attorney general, senator, and now as a vice president. And it's because she's a Black woman. Vice President Kamala Harris is the product of a Jamaican father and Indian mother who grew up in Oakland, California. She comes from two different cultures and ethnicities. She looks like many Black women we've seen and celebrated in the culture before. In a segregated American past, Harris would not pass as white. History flashback, the same critique was lobbed at President Barack Obama. It happened in 2007 when he was running for president, and it came from some within the Black political establishment. These critics said that because Obama had a white American mother and a Kenyan father, that he wasn't Black or Black enough. While Obama may not have been a generational African American, meaning he descended from enslaved Africans during chattel slavery in the U.S., Every year of his presidency revealed the racism and resistance he got as a Black man in America. And soon, many of his critics let the race issue go. So let's put it on the record. Vice President Kamala Harris is an AKA who graduated from the historically Black Howard University. Along with being of South Asian descent, she identifies as a Black woman and hasn't shied away from that. This is her recent appearance at Essence Fest. This is there will never be another day where we didn't have a black female vice president of the United States of America. I grew up in a community where it was an extended family of people who told all of us as children, we are young, gifted, and black. I am also a proud HBCU graduate. <laughs> There are three months until Election Day, and while you'll see a lot of opinions floating around, everyone's entitled to them, facts do matter. This is Natasha S. Alford reporting for The Griot. Stick with us for the latest coverage of Election 2024.